Understanding the giraffe's kin, exploring animal family terms in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, animal family terms in English. We'll specifically explore the phrase, the giraffe's kin. Understanding such phrases not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insight into English expressions related to animals. So, let's get started. Firstly, let's break down the phrase, the giraffe's kin. The word, kin, is crucial here. In English, kin, refers to family members or relatives. It's a term that can be used for humans and animals alike, indicating those who are related by blood or common ancestry. When we talk about a giraffe's kin, we are referring to animals that are related to the giraffe. Now, let's focus on the giraffe's family tree. The giraffe is a member of the family giraffidae. This family also includes another lesser known member, the okapi. The okapi, often dubbed the forest giraffe, shares some physical similarities with the giraffe but is a distinct species. So, when we say, the giraffe's kin, we are mainly referring to the okapi as its closest living relative. Understanding how to use kin in everyday English is important. You might encounter phrases like, lion's kin, or elephant's kin referring to their respective relatives, such as tigers or woolly mammoths. It's a way to group animals together based on family ties. Remember, kin is a flexible term and can be used in various contexts to discuss familial relationships. That's a wrap on our exploration of the giraffe's kin. I hope this video has helped clarify how English uses family terms in the context of animals. Remember, phrases like these enrich your understanding and usage of the language. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to our next English language adventure together.